With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends. So in this question, we are given that a conductor is bent in the form of concentric semicircles as shown in the figure. So the magnetic field at the point O is. Where is the point O? The point O is this center. So this is point O. Here we can see that the radius of semicircles are increasing as a, 2a, 4a, 8a and so on. Now friends, first let us find the magnetic field due to a semicircle at point O. Means a semicircle of radius r. So the magnetic field B is given by mu naught i upon 4 times of radius r. This is the magnetic field at the center of the semicircle. Now friends, as the current, so first let us name the these semicircles. So, so this is semicircle 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and this goes up to infinity. Now friends, as we can see that the in semicircle 1, the current is in anti-clockwise direction. So, the so the magnetic field will will be coming outward so assuming outward dot to be positive and cross that is inward to be negative so we can say that magnetic field due to loop 1 will be positive loop 2 will be negative and so on so net magnetic field d net is equals to mu naught i by 4 this is a constant and this will be changing that is radius will be changing so for first loop the radius is a and the magnetic field is positive so it is 1 by a for second it is negative so it is minus 1 upon 2a and for third it is 1 upon 4a fourth it is 1 upon 8a and so on up to infinity so to solve this whole equation we have to solve this summation series and let this be equals to s so s is equals to 1 upon a minus 1 upon 2a plus 1 upon 4a minus 1 upon 8a and so on friends here we can clearly see that the common difference of this term small r is equals to 1 upon 2a sorry that is 1 upon 2 and first term that is a1 is equals to 1 upon a so s comes out to be equals to from formula we can say that s is equals to 1 a1 upon 1 minus r friends r is minus 1 by 2 as the sign is changing so by solving by putting the values of a1 and r in this equation we get s to be equals to 2 by 3 into 1 by a so this is equals to 2 upon 3 now putting the value of s in b net equation of b net we get b net to be equals to mu naught i upon 4 into 2 upon 3a so this 2 gets cancelled out with this 2s 4s2 so the final answer comes out as mu naught i upon 3 into 2 that is 6 into a this is our final answer so let's check the option so the option 2 for this question is the correct one Thank you, friends. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.